Uh, this is a tutorial about how to use Launchpad in Mission Control, which is available on uh, Lion and Mountain Lion. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm running the newest version of Mountain Lion on a MacBook Air. And so first, let's go ahead and start with Launchpad. So Launchpad was introduced at Lion and is basically Apple's uh, way of making iOS and OS X more alike. For those of you coming from Snow Leopard, this will take some getting taking used to, but for those of you familiar with iOS, you'll feel just as, just at home. Launchpad can be opened with just one tap, so click on the icon, and you'll feel you'll see that this looks just like the iPad or iPhone home screen. It has multiple pages, which you can see down here, and you can just scroll through them using the two finger swipe. So what these are is this is a way to quickly launch applications. And they can be easily organized. And let's do that. So click and hold down an app, and they'll start uh, shaking. So then, let's just say I feel mail and messages are similar because they both are for communications. So let me click and drag messages right over mail. Click on it, and Apple will try to give you a um, guesstimate of what they think this folder is about. Well, let me rename it communications. Now, next time I open up this uh, launch pad, it'll be labeled as communications, and so it'll allow me to quickly open up apps and let me easily arrange my uh, workflow. Okay, so this can be used, and as you can see here, I already created one, and we can take them out. And so this tool is really good if you have not too many apps, but enough to uh, your quick access apps. If you're a developer like me, uh, this is a new computer, so I don't have too many apps. But when you start like getting used to your machine and have lots of apps, this tool sort of loses functionality. But one good functionality in this is the search bar up here. You just tap it once, and this is kind of like Spotlight, except it's more user friendly. So let's just type in Safari, and that's what pops up. And you just hit enter, and you're in. So that's basically the launch pad is Mission Control. A uh, Mission Control, for those of you coming from Leopard, is basically an enhanced version of Spaces and Expose. And so what it does is it allows you to take step back and look at all the windows you have and organize them. So let's go ahead and open up Reminders and let's open up my App Store. And that's about it. Let's also open up the notes app. So what we're gonna what the, so what we're gonna say is these are all the apps that I have running right now. And I want to uh keep all these apps running, but I don't want them all at the same screen. So I do a four finger swipe upwards or I click on the mission control icon and it brings me to a step back version. And so what I can do now is scroll to the top right, and a small tab pops up. You click on it, and a new desktop pops up. So right now, I'm actively searching for software in the App Store. Uh, this is actually where I got my screen recorder I'm using right now. And so let's say the Reminders app is not being used right now. So I just click and drag, and it kind of vanishes into the desktop too. And the Notes app is not being used either, so let's go ahead and push that into Desktop 2 also. So now what we can do is we can click back to Desktop 1. And here, nice and neat, is what I want. I do a four-finger swipe to the left. And I can scroll over to my other desktop. I can also access my dashboards from here. Another thing is, if I want a full immersive experience and take full capacity of my screen, I can click these two arrows up here, and I have a full screen app. But what an amazing feature of Mission Control is, I can see all my full screen apps and control them from here. And let's say I'm not using Desktop 1 anymore, I just go back there. And if I'm not using Desktop 2, I can just scroll over, click the X, and the apps in there come back here. So that's basically about it for Launchpad and Mission Control. Remember that if you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comments page. And I would appreciate feedback about how to make my tutorials better. Also, if you have any more tutorial ideas, 
I'll love to make them about Windows or Mac. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and have a nice day and have good success with your Mac career.